where have they been all this time? That was Judith Morrison's first reaction watching our Arizona's family story last week showing letters addressed to her grandma, Anna Kowalsik, to photos of mom Julia Anna Bangston, formerly Kowalsik. I saw that spread out on the, the Miss Dysinger's dining room table and I was shocked. Judith has photos of her grandmother and mother, even as quilts and crochets made by Anna. She would always entertain us kids, all her grandkids, and she would always remember us at birthdays and at Christmas. But these photos and letters found, which include relatives from Poland asking for help after World War II, provide a glimpse into Judith's family life that she never knew existed. Do I have a long lost relative out there somewhere in the Phoenix area? That's the big remaining question for both Judith and Elizabeth Beisinger the Polish-born woman who has this pink bag full of memories after her mother-in-law found out about the missing items in the trunk of a 2005 Mercedes at work. Who had them last and why did they keep it in the trunk of a car? I feel like I've um, gotten to know the family a little bit just looking at their photos and reading their letters and everything and so I am a little bit invested. The next step for Elizabeth is returning these materials, some of which go back as far as the early 1900s, to Judith. I would really like to get this back to, um, to the owner and to the rightful family. Being able to read the Pol Polish language, it's not that I would want to know word by word, but maybe a, a summary of one of those letters. Very interesting, uh, the history. Judith says she doesn't come down to the valley much anymore, but I can confirm that Elizabeth and Judith, they have each other's contact information, and hopefully they can meet up in person soon, and we'll be able to bring you the next chapter in this story. Also, we are still working on tracking down who owned that car. We will keep you posted when we get any new information. Live in the newsroom, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family. Love to see a story like this come full circle. Elliot, thanks for that.